Hello everybody, greetings in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Today I like to share with you from 1 John chapter 3, verse 2 and 3. Beloved, now are we the sons of God, and it does not yet appear what we shall be, but we know that when we shall appear, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. And every man that has this hope in him purified himself even as he is pure. Amen. Brothers and sisters, we just read about how so privileged we are to be God's sons and daughters. And yes, there is time for us to wait until he comes again. Then we are changed to be like him. We will put on the resurrected bodies, the body just like Jesus has. Brothers and sisters, in verse 2, I read again, says that, Beloved, now are we the sons of God, and it does not yet appear what we shall be, but we know that when we shall appear, we shall be like him. Hallelujah. Yes. We need to wait a little bit more for us to be changed, just like Christ. I like to read from Romans chapter 8, verse 15. For you have not received the spirit of bondage again to fear, but you have received the spirit of adoption, whereby we cry, Abba, Father. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. God the Father has adopted us to be his sons and daughters. It is a big privilege for us to be his children. Brothers and sisters, the Bible teaches us that we are to live just like him. I go back to 1 John chapter 3, verse 3. And every man that has this hope in him purify himself even as he is pure. Amen. There is a requirement for us to be his children. The Bible says that every man that has this hope in him purify himself. Yes, we are to guard ourselves pure. Brothers and sisters, we live in a dark world. There are so many wickedness in this world, but again, we have the Spirit of God. The Holy Spirit lives inside of us, and He will encourage us, strengthen us to follow God's Word. And we just read how we are to purify ourselves. We need to know that we do not belong to this world, but we belong to God. I like to read one more verse from 1 John 4, verse 2. Hereby know ye the Spirit of God, every spirit that confess that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is of God. Amen. This is the Spirit of God, the Spirit that confess Jesus Christ come in the flesh. Jesus become a man. Yes, there are many times throughout the history that the manship of Jesus Christ is attacked. But again, the word of God tells us that Jesus, who is God, came to this world and he became a man, fully man. Brothers and sisters, let us believe in him. When we believe in Jesus Christ, we are adopted to be the sons and daughters of the Almighty God. Hallelujah. Let us put the word of God in our hearts that we may not sin against thee. Hallelujah. Amen.